All right, guys, today we're going to talk about is the Chris Reeve Knives Umnum Zon a comfortable knife? And this is something that I've actually seen pop up in a couple of knife forms that I'm in. So I thought I'd do a video kind of explaining the Umnum Zon as someone who owns one and not only owns an Umnum Zon, but a Sabenza and an Inkosi. So I have a few kind of knives, and of course, I have way more than that uh, as a collection. So I think I, I probably am qualified to say whether or not this thing is comfortable. Now, I will say, too, it is also very important to note that, you know, when it comes to ergonomics and comfortability, and apologies for this poor lighting, it's a weird time of year, but, uh, you know, when it comes to ergonomics and comfortability in a knife, your mileage is going to vary. Like, it, you may not find this comfortable, but for the most part, I think most people will kind of find what I have to say at least valuable and maybe relevant. So, I thought I'd talk about it. So, first off, I will say when I first got the Eminem Zon in hand and like unboxed it, I was a little bit concerned myself whether or not it would be a comfortable knife. And especially, I've heard, like I said, other people complain about like, is this a comfortable knife? Is it actually good? And so, what my personal, um, findings are is that it actually fits me pretty darn well. Now, I will say there is only one hot spot that I can kind of have with this knife, and that is that because the clip, as you guys can see, at least the stock clip, you can get aftermarket, like Lynch Northwest makes aftermarket clips, but this clip in and of itself rides the lock bar, and so because it does that, it places the lock bar further south or, you know, further down on the knife than, say, like, take this in Kosi, for instance. You can see that it has a far more central centralized um, lock bar or sorry uh, clip on it so this is like positioned more upwards whereas this is positioned more downwards so um, because of that positioning sometimes I do find um, and I'll try to show this here that when I go to close my hand that clip the part that sticks up usually ends up sitting right in between my middle and ring finger so if I can put it there it's just fine I don't have any hot spots but if I grab this like at say an off angle or it's not quite perfect then like either my ring finger or middle finger will end up hitting that clip and like I said then it can develop a hot spot but as far as other things I think a lot of people think that the extended or flared lock bar as you guys can see there is going to be a hot spot but I just haven't found that to be the case and that is partly because it is very well rounded but two when you actually go to grab an omnum on your index finger or pointer finger whatever you'd like to call it sits right about here so like your index finger is sitting right here your middle finger you usually follows suit and sits outside of this. So it kind of ends up giving you this effect that like on the Nkosi, where you have these pronounced or exaggerated finger uh, grooves where your index and middle finger just kind of naturally lie. So for me, once again, finger grooves are always gonna be a personal thing. You may not find that those finger grooves work well for you, but you may not find that those finger grooves work particularly well for you, but in my opinion and in my experience, this knife does feel pretty good in hand. Like I said, outside of that pocket clip issue um, or minor issue, because it's not that big of a deal, um, this knife fits good. I mean, like if I'm holding it in just normal grip or even with my thumb down here, it's going to feel, fit perfectly fine. And I don't personally have any issues with it. Um, even in the reverse grip or ice pick grip, it's still very comfortable. And in fact, more so, because your index and middle finger are going to be holding on to the back end of that clip. So once again, very comfortable, no hot spots there. In addition to something that I do like over the plain Jane versions of things like Nkosis and Sabenzas is that you'll find that there is texturing here. So it is fairly grippy. You can get a good grip on it and it will work out just fine. So long story short, is the Umnum's on a comfortable and ergonomic knife. Like I said, I can't say for everyone that this is going to be a perfect blade for everyone's use case, but for me, it is pretty good, and I really don't mind it, to be honest. So, I don't know. I find it comfortable, and once again, once you break it in, you know, it flicks out just fine. I will say I really like the thumb studs, especially because you get um, off the, like, out the gate, you get these black rubber inserts. You can put other colored O-rings in there, and what those uh, O-rings do is they're rubber, and so they give you that bit to be able to flip the knife out and uh, like flip it into the open position. So that is something that I do like about it quite a bit and something that I find pretty um, 
pretty easy to use, like to make the interface nice and usable. So anyways, guys, that is the Chris Reeve Knives Omnimzon and my experience with it so far. Like I said, I have carried this thing quite a bit, but not quite enough to like really give this thing a whole review just yet. But so far, so good for me and I really like it personally. Um, I'm definitely glad to have it in the collection, you know, to add or complement to the Inkosi, the Sabenza. And yeah, it is a really good or really well-made piece of knife. So anyways, guys, as always, God bless, and I'm out.